UFC 300. This is uh, this is an interview that's close to my heart right here. My good friend, the Hammer, Mark Coleman. First of all, I just want to say it is it is very good to see you, brother. I want to shake your hand, and I want to say it's great to see you, brother. Hey, good to see you here. You're doing well for yourself. Thank you. I predicted bro. that early on when you got started. You did. You nice know, job, pe people don't know we go way back, all the way to Bare Knuckle FC. Um, a friend of his, Josh Burns, Team Hammer House. So I've known this man for a minute, but you said on the daily, you said, you know, I've been I've been training every day for something that was coming up. You know what I mean? And and you never knew what it was going to be. And you're a hero, Mark Coleman. You're you're a hero, brother. Well, thank God, I was. And thank God in general, God, he was with me that night. He, he guided me in and out of the house. And uh, uh, I'm glad he was because it was uh, definitely the, the scariest night of my life. And uh, I just reacted and responded the way you should. And uh, um, very fortunate and the outpour of love and, and, and the response by the, the fans across the world it melted my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you. I think that's one of the best things about you is you're so, you're so active on social media and you're so responsive to the people that follow you. You know what I mean? You like, you like to talk to people. I don't know if you respond to DMs, but I know you're very active on social media. So how important is it for you to, to reach out to the people? Well, it's very important. I, I've always been, I would never say no to a fan unless I'm late for a fight, which has happened a few times. But uh, yeah, social media, I get a kick out of it because I do long, long, boring, grueling sessions and it gives me a nice little break, although I'm exercising while I'm on there. And, and uh, I, you know, I, sometimes I have a tendency to pay attention to the haters. They don't bother me at all, but it, they got me kicked off of Instagram for calling them cowards and pussies, but uh, I didn't know that was illegal. They warned me five times, I should have known, but uh, no, nah, man, I love you guys. You know that. What time do you wake up every morning, Mark Coleman? Depends on what time I went to bed, so, yeah, I was like a, a 6 a.m. when I started this journey, then it was 5, then it was 4, then, you know, a couple times 3. And whenever I fall out, you know, give me about 6 hours and I'm back up. And I get to cold shower in the morning, take the dog out, take a little hammer out, no longer with us. But uh, get the walking going and, and just get my routine started because I... I I love to earn my food, man, and I love to be starving when I do eat it. So only way to get hungry is by burning some cows. A lot of people say that we don't deserve dogs. You know what I mean? And I'm a firm believer in that. We, we don't deserve dogs. They're too good to us, brother. Well, they need us too, but no, until you got a dog, you don't get it. So anybody don't have a dog, just go ahead and wait for the next question. But uh, no, I, I got myself one. I've been doing this training for like six months without a dog and it was just you know 12 19 hour days sometimes but then uh you know a good friend of mine had a little rottweiler and geez i love rottweilers now but you know i, I loved him for the moment i got him and then it just grew and he got away with he got away with murder because he was my first dog and he didn't have to have a leash because he's my dog but uh they, they say he takes after, they take after their owners and uh <laughs> He sure did, man. He, he figured me out all my little tricks to get him to come out from underneath the bed. He want a treat, you know. No, 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 that didn't work. So I had to, I had to reel him in with about five or six treats, but he was just the best. And I, until you got a, until you got a pet, you don't get it. But I, I loved him, and uh, he's still a part of me. And he's still, he's still in that house with me. And now King Martello, he, he's guiding King Martello on how to. Uh, keep the hammer motivated if you had to give somebody that's going through it in life one piece of advice what would you tell them mm, just keep getting up get up you're going to get knocked down life is hard life is difficult um, you got to learn to accept things as they come everything happens for a reason don't feel like uh, why me just accept it it's, it's not how you Bad things are going to happen, but it, it, it's more about how you respond to them that really matters. Uh, just keep moving forward. You know, stay away from the drugs for sure, drugs and alcohol. And it'll ruin you. 
um, just keep trying to be a better version of yourself you can be be a nice guy that's really all I'm gonna end it with this and correct me if I get it wrong nine ancestral tenants sober is cool hammer house for life carnivore diet fool I missed it carnivore diet Mark Coleman I love you brother